In our conversation with adult film star Heather Hunter, she spoke on the issue of relationships and children and who and what her fantasies are about. Honestly, my fantasy, I realize if I'm going to have a fantasy, I'm going to have to create it for myself. <laughs> so basically, I've been focusing on my career and along with my career and since it's escalating it's becoming and it's booming right now which is really good because i'm focusing a lot on it um i would like my career to keep soaring and with that i would love to get married i love to have some kids i'm ready for that now <laughs> it's time and um i'm not like knocking down and asking for resumes for men right now but you know if the right one comes along, I'm here. I'm waiting. I don't see anything different than the music business and the X-rated business. They're still the same, and they combine every day. I see it happening every day. And it's combining always. Now it's combining like crazy because you have rap artists dealing with a lot of X-rated adult businesses. You know, as in doing, as you in using girls for their music videos, as doing like, just like rap. You know, slurs through their and then messages to their rap songs of girls in the business, you know. Man, you're getting personal. <laughs> I don't believe you asked me that question. <laughs> what age did I lose my virginity? I still don't know. I still feel I'm a virgin. <laughs> no, um, I lost my virginity when I was 16, 16 years old. People thought I lost it when I was 13, because when I was 13, I was perpetrating a fraud and acting like I did, you know. I was a big tease when I was from age 13 and 16. So when it came to the 16 years old, I wound up meeting a very nice Jamaican boy and he turned me out. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> my mother's, her whole thing was, if you can't live under my rules, get out. And I thought I was big enough and strong enough and I was able to. So I went out onto the world and search for something. I still haven't found it. <laughs> but luckily I've succeeded to the goals that I'm at right now. But my mother and my father, they, were, they weren't shocked because I was very rebel. I was very rebelish from the age, I'd say about 12 to like 15. I was just buck wild, you know. So they weren't shocked, but they realized that Heather's going to do what she's going to do. And the best thing is to let her do what she's going to do because she, she's, I'm a very responsible person. And uh, they love me for who I am, no matter whatever I do. <laughs> they love me. So it worked out for the best. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Now, Max, who are you? I'm a police officer. My name is Detective Baker. Are you the one to call? Yes, thank you. I'm glad you got here. Uh, thanks. My name is Jackie Dumont. I'm the owner of this house. I rented out a room to a lady named Monica Pittman. Well, that's what she said her name was. Uh, she said she was new in town. I knew when it came down to sex, I was going to come natural. So I really wasn't uh, really you looking night, forward to the sex room. act of it all. I really wanted to be my whole, right. when I decided to do the but first film, I always wanted to see myself in a box cover. That was basically my so biggest then, dream. Um, it was really because well, when I was younger, I always looked at myself as in being too skinny, had a very low self-esteem, and I really didn't think that I was pretty enough to be on the box covers like these other girls. And when I kept asking my friends, well, Heather, can I do this? Should I do this? Oh, Heather, no, you're too skinny. You can't do that, you know? I decided to just get up and do it. And then when I did it, I was very, like I said, I was very anxious. Um, the dialogue scenes were very, I was nervous at first, but along with the sex, that came natural. <laughs> and it just, I had a good time. It was a good time, you know. The person I worked with for the first time, his name was Michael Knight, and he was really, he was a good partner. I was lucky. I had a nice partner to work with for my first time. So it was like being a virgin all over again. Um, you don't really want us to go through the entire... I mean, you don't want us to do it, do you? Of course I do. We're supposed to be living out this scene like it's really happening. Sure, I just, uh... Action. Isn't it beautiful here? Yeah, it's great. You know, I still like making love. What about you? Um, I enjoyed working with Randy Spears. Mm -hmm. 
And when I was in yeah. films with Randy Spears, I wound up having a relationship with him. So um, it can happen. <laughs> and I, work, I loved working with Tori Wells and uh, Peter North. That is a bunch of them. <laughs> it's a bunch of them. Randy West, Tom Byron, there's so many, you know. But I've, I've worked with, like, out of the 17 films that I did, I worked with the same guys, you know, with, which would be like about six or seven guys. And I did, which they worked regular without, without <laughs> they worked regular within the movies, you know. So it worked out. In closing, we asked Heather if she would ever go back to the adult film industry. I'll never go back. Mm -mm. See, in life, you always got to go forward. You never go back. Because you always go back, something, something goes wrong, you know. Because life is already a cycle, so why go back, <laughs> you know. So just keep going forward, and um, I'll be here. As long as I can breathe, you're going to hear from me.